What's up, Fart Knockers? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing a airship, basically. Uh, which is where you get a guardian and put it on a raft, and then you just start flying around. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, but we're gonna get some, uh, some cold-ass clothes on to keep us from the cold here. Now we're looking spiff. So, the area I like to go to to do this is right about here. There's a shrine here, and I like to go down here. There's a raft over by the uh, water wall here. There's a couple tricks to get the raft out. And then there's a couple ways to set up the guardian for the uh, airship. It, it's going to take some time, so I'm going to be clipping a lot of this. But I'll see you when I get there. Anyway, uh, just, just ignore that. So we're here. There's a raft right here. And there is a guardian that usually patrols around this area. Usually right around there. Uh, I got a new controller and I'm just finding out there's no motion controls on it. That's fun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take Karanis. We're gonna fall off Karanis. We'll get up here. We're gonna basically gonna do a, a Karanis launch. I've done this on streams before, but I put a Karanis block down. And as it's starting to ignore, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, you put a Karanis block down. And as it's starting to speed up, you go bullet time mode and launch it into the air. It's gonna launch over the wall here. Now, what's really going to help is either having a Korok leave, or what I'm gonna probably end up doing is getting an amiibo treasure chest, which is going to help a lot. Yeah, let's let's get my amiibo treasure chest out, which will make this a thousand times easier. We're gonna push along, and we'll raft here. Push it to that guardian that we see in the distance. Uh, if you want fine tuning, I push in the bottom. If you want it just to go quicker, I just push on the mast itself. Uh, I guess I'll see you over there. Take a weapon out to cut his legs off. Okay. Now, we can't move. But we're gonna need to flip him. So you can either use Cryonis or do my method to the chest. You do this with the Nebo, so you can just find the chest. Alright, now that we got him flipped, we're gonna go back to our raft. Now, we're gonna carry our raft over the Guardian, or vice versa. I ended up putting a block in front of him so he can't hit me. Let's so go ahead and this raft. Go 
on the side to get fine tuned. Which is really helpful. I find the best uh, outcome is to take the front of the raft, which is where the mast is closest to, and putting it in the middle far in the middle of the raft. now, the trick is the cryonist placement. If you save now, it's going to revert everything back to where it was, so there's no point. But I like to put the cryonist black where the head meets the body. And now I try my best to get on. Raguchi, 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 Raguchi. Oh god. Hope that we can land on his head. Oh, so he he got away. He, he we we got a problem here. And there goes the wrap. And. Alright. Well, we got him in this position, we could do something fun. The cryonis blocks. So I'm gonna go... ...and go around him. I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna get on this cryonis block. Put one underneath him. Launch his fat ass in the air. Vivali's Gale is now ready. Unexpected event of the raft disappearing. We're gonna start back from uh, step one, so I will meet you back when I have the raft and the guardian again. <laughs> if the raft despawns like that, just run around a bit and it'll come right back. I'm gonna need the chest again. I'll make my job easy. And uh fail the stasis. Alright, now we can go back to Doing a thing. So, like I said before, I like to flip the front of the raft to face the guardian. I think because I've seen videos 
how to do this, and all their good results they've had in front of them raft facing the guardian instead of the sides. But it's worked for me. He's on. Let's see what happens. Nothing good. But we can just reset. Another method I like to do is to stand in the bottom of the Guardian, hold the chest here, bring him as close to me as I can. And then I can walk the Guardian to wherever I need him to be. Now we're gonna make some adjustments to get the Guardian to face how I want him to face. Is a oh, this might work. Now we're on its head, and uh, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm genuinely confused. Let's give it a little nudge. Maybe that's all it needs. We got movement. Not very stable movement. Not very stable at all. Rivali's gale is now ready. Shut up, Ravioli. Shut up. Ravioli's gale is now ready. I shouldn't say that. I need his ability for this. We got a, uh, we got a car. So this is what I mean when I say it's meticulous. You, you sometimes get a good result and sometimes get this, whatever this is. Well, we seem to be, seem to be moving, hovering. This is not what I had in mind. Oh no. Now that's something you don't want to see when doing this. The blood moon rises once again. Okay, blood moon. We we good? Blood moon? No way. Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. Well, we seem to be in a pickle. We're not going anywhere. And we're definitely not rising in the air. So... Right now it wants to go with the wind. I don't want it to go with the wind.
at this point I'm realizing we might have a problem. Let's try and give it a boost. Here we go. Now you just ride into the vista. And don't fall off. Now we hide from the guardian. And uh, try our best to enjoy our trip. As long as you stay on the other side of it, you should be fine. Or stay out of sight and hidden. Sometimes the mask can even help. Now what we do is we, uh, we fly off into the Great Divine. I'm a little terrified that we're heading directly to Death Mountain. I guess we'll see what happens. I happen to have a very nice clip of the last time I've done this, and I got the ideal position of the guardian's head, and I was able to see around much more with a wide area. Also seeing the cool blue coming out of the tentacles was a really cool experience. behind the mast. We're starting to hit the world limit. We're starting to hit the height limit. We have, uh... We've hit the height limit. And we got kicked off. But... Yeah! Can't beat him. Join him. Funny enough, the uh, boat has despawned, but the guardian is perfectly fine. Well, I think it's about time we have some fun. That's about it. I just wanted to show you how to do the airship and mess around with some guardians. So, until next time, I'll see you around, fart knockers. If you guys want to learn how to do this trick, let me know.
It's actually pretty easy to pull off, just hard to master.